What is going on everyone? Hope you're having a fantastic day and welcome to Fitment Industries Garage. I'm Gels from Fitment Industries and today we have another episode of What Wheels Fit to bring you guys and on today's episode we are going to be covering the Mini Cooper. Before we go ahead and jump right into the video, please, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And of course, once you know what wheels are gonna fit on your Mini Cooper and you're all set on a set of wheels for your car, don't forget who helped you out and stop over to fitmentindustries.com to check out all the wheels, tires, and suspension options that we have available right now. Anyway. The Mini Cooper S is a Euro hot hatch that stole the hearts of many, and with a few generations and a couple different facelifts, they become a pretty popular platform. So what we're gonna do is take a look at the Fitment Gallery over at fitmentindustries.com and check out some of the Mini Cooper examples that are sitting in there right now and dive into detail as far as what they are running for wheels, tires, and suspension and kind of compare them to one another as far as different fitment types, different looks, and all that sort of stuff. So the first things first here, the recommended fitment range for the Mini Cooper gives us diameters ranging from 16 to 18 inches, widths from six and a half to eight and a half inches, and an offset landing right around plus 35 to plus 55. So what we're gonna do is start off with some cars that are running a pretty modest setup, I guess you could say. So something for those who are looking for some aftermarket wheels to change up the look of things, but don't really wanna have to worry about cutting into things or having to modify things or having to buy other suspension components to get anything to fit or not to rub. And then as we go on, it'll get more and more aggressive with the fitment. First up for the day, we have a 2013 John Cooper Works Edition rocking some Avid One AV6 wheels. And these are a size of 17 by eight with a plus 35 offset. For the tires, we have some Hankook Ventus V12 Evo 2s with a size of 215.45, and then sitting on some Eibach lowering springs. So with this setup, we get a nice flush fitment with a drop and ride height with help from the lowering springs, and you're not dropping a whole bunch of money on a set of coilovers either. We don't see any rubbing issues and no other modifications needed to get these wheels to fit. So a good solid daily setup. Next up we have our first of probably a few examples on air today with a 2009 Cooper S on some Rotiform RSEs. 17 by 8 with a plus 40 offset for the size and then wrapped in some Yokohama S-Drive tires, 195.40 and then sitting on some airlift performance air suspension. So even though we're going up and offset 5 millimeters to a plus 40, which brings the wheel in a little bit compared to the last one, we are still getting a tight fitment because of the car being on air suspension. Moving on to another example on air, we're taking a look at a 2010 Cooper S with some 15 52 integrals. 17 by eight with a plus 30 offset, so getting more aggressive here with the offset. So still sticking with a 17 by eight though. For tires, we have some Nitto Neogen tires, 205, 45 for the size. And then again, like I said, sitting on some airlift performance air suspension. Listed in the notes here, there is no mention of any rubbing issues or having to trim anything to get this setup to fit. However, similar setups that we have seen uh, do require some trimming of the fender liners or on the inside of the fenders if necessary. Kicking back over to some coilovers, we have a 2012 Cooper S 1552 Turbo Max, 17 by eight with a plus 35 offset wrapped in some 215 45 tires. And then for the suspension, we are on some Megan Racing coilovers. So still getting a pretty aggressive flush fitment on coilovers with a 17 by eight plus 35. Recommended to do some sort of trimming on the inside of the fenders or maybe drop a tire size. Uh, since in the notes we have listed that it used to run Rub, but they fit perfectly after what was, you know, originally making contact just either rubbed away or disintegrated. I mean, I guess that's one way to do it. Honestly, it seems like a good majority of owners are running some sort of variation of a 17 by eight on these cars with an offset landing between plus 30 and plus 40 for a nice flush setup. But of course there are those who don't like to follow the rules and like to take things to the next level and run some really aggressive wide wheels on these cars. And that's what we're going to cover next. That being said, let's start taking a look at some of these cars starting out with a 2014 Cooper S with some ESM 002Rs with a size of 17 by eight and a half of the plus 20 offset wrapped in some Achilles ATRK tires. 195.40 for the tire size and then on sitting on some BC racing coilovers. As you can imagine, this setup does rub even considering the inner fender liners have been completely removed and the fenders have been shaved down. Note says that the rubbing only occurs in the rear when there are some pretty big dips in the road. So, you know, there you go. Next up, we have a 2011 with some VIP modular VX 110s, 17 by nine with a plus 25 offset paired with some Lexani LX6 tires. 
205-40 for the size and then sitting aired out on some air lift performance. Some trimming required to get everything to clear when aired out and the negative three degrees of camber up front and then natural camber in the rear with the air suspension when aired out. And then to close out the day, we are going to go with this 2011 John Cooper Works Edition with some BBS RS wheels, actually seeing our first and only staggered setup of the day. We have a 17 by eight with a zero offset up front and a 17 by nine with a plus 25 offset in the rear. For tires, we're looking for a 185, 35 Nang King up front and a 195, 40 in the rear. And then all of this just wrapped up nicely sitting on some airlift performance. There is some plastic trimming and fenders are shaved to make sure everything clears with this setup and still running into a slight rub at full turn, just probably with that low of an offset. So there you have it. Those are some wheels and some good real life examples of what people are running on their Mini Coopers. Don't forget if you didn't really see anything that really, you know, stuck out to you or you want to see a different example, hop on over to fitmentindustries.com, load it up in the gallery. There's literally hundreds of hundreds of Mini Coopers over there right now for you to take a look at with all this information like this. Fitmentindustries.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you later. Peace.